Alrighty. So how are you doing? Oh, I'm doing okay. Yeah. Hanging in there. Yeah, busy. Yes, extremely. Yeah. Yeah. So that's a nice thing. Doing a lot of promotion or what? What kind? Well, of just doing. I'm starting to uh, tour again. Yeah. So I'm, you know, traveling around quite a bit doing shows, and I just got back from the Winter Music Conference in Miami. Yeah, how was it? It was awesome. Yeah? Yeah, very cool. cool. A lot of partying going on. I can imagine, yeah. yeah. <laughs> wow. Well, I'll tell you, this story I'm doing in particular is for the student newspaper, Berkeley College of Music. Oh, wonderful. I'm about to graduate from there, and I'm a freelance journalist, and, you know, I especially love doing interviews with the classic artists who have been around for years and, you know, aren't necessarily the biggest names, but who I think have a great body of work. So I'm well, very thank happy you. to be able to do this. Um, let's see. I guess I'll start by asking, when did you first know music was a thing for you? You know, actually, um, I started performing at a very young age. I was like four years old. Uh -huh. And um, it was just something that I always did. And I, it, it's where I felt the most comfortable. Mm -hmm. um, so the performing end of it has just been my life for many, many years. And I think um, at a very early age, really, I just knew this is what I wanted to do. Was your family involved in music at all? Or was it well, actually, my, my dad used to sing uh -huh. um, when he was younger. He sang, uh, you know, in different clubs and that kind of stuff. But he ended up, you know, he like so many people of that generation, he thought, oh, it's music. There's no, there's no future in this. I'm yeah. going to be a plumber, yeah. <laughs> you know. <laughs> so, so he gave it up. But um, And don't give it up, as you would say. Yeah, right. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> But um, musically, you know, I would say my dad was the one. My mom was a fashion designer. Oh, okay. So that's where that element comes in. Right. Because always your album covers are very fashionable and, you know, everything. Well, that's so. really cool to hear. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Um, now, so you started at age four. Were, were you into doing a certain style? Or were you just sing whatever? Or was it like talent shows at schools or what kind well, of? Yeah, at, at that age, I was doing, um, I did shows at the Little Carnegie Theater in New York. Okay. I grew up in uh, Brooklyn, New York. But, oh, okay. But uh, my family, you know, they, they put me in school for a dancing lesson uh -huh. because they said, oh, this girl is clumsy. She's going to kill herself. <laughs> we gotta get, we got to get her going in the right direction. So they put me in school to study uh, tap jazz and ballet. Okay. And the whole works. Yeah, 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 everything. They're like, just do it. <laughs> so you can walk and chew gum at the same yeah. time. So um, I did that um, for years. And um, uh, uh, the Little Carnegie Theater and then eventually the Catskill Mountains. Yeah. So the, the types of music that I, I did were... You know, varied. You know, it went from um, one of the shows that we did uh, primarily was a vaudevillian type show. Was it the Catskills? This was the Catskills, cool. and we worked all the major houses up there. Yeah. And uh, I learned to sing in Hebrew, Yiddish, oh, Spanish, awesome. Italian, yeah. French, you know, because the cast consisted of maybe six or eight of us. Wow. And, and it was an every night thing. And it was every night, sometimes two shows a night uh, in different hotels. Wow. So we we all oh. played like 10 or 12 characters. Oh, wow. You know, so it was constant changing, and I did Carmen Miranda and Ethel Waters and Eddie yeah. Cantor, you know, that kind of stuff. What age was this at that you were doing that? Like, um, actually, that started when I was, I would say, 12 or 13. Oh, wow. Okay. And I continued to do that every summer. Yeah, I'm going to have to get up to the Catskills eventually because I always... You know, hear all these things about it. I did an interview recently with Terry Gonzalez, who co-wrote Caught Up in a One Night Love Affair. Uh-huh. And uh, she talked about performing there and meeting lots of great people. Oh, yeah. yeah. Well, think about the movie Dirty Dancing, and what, oh, you know? yeah, right. You know, yeah. so that was like a whole thing that yeah. was going on up there, too. But they, they always had major, major acts uh, performing up there. And... Um, you know, we were like an opening act for, you know, the the big wigs. Wow. So it, it was quite an experience, and it was it really was an education. Cool. Yeah. So at what point did you start? I know you sang with a group called the Jericho Jazz Singers. Correct. And was that 
around the same time or was that much later? That was um, actually when I was uh, turned 18 years old. Uh -huh. um, that was my last summer in the Catskill. Okay. And so you were there for like six years. Yes. Wow. Yeah. So, um, and what happened was uh, I met these people in the Catskills and they were doing shows and they invited me to come see their show. I somehow managed to get a night off while I was up there and I went to see their show and I thought, oh my God, this is so fantastic. Mm -hmm. So I invited them to see our show uh -huh. and they came and they saw the show and, and the next day they asked me if I would join the group. Oh, wow. So um, I was just, you know, here I was, you know, 18. I'm thinking, wow, I'm going on the road, you know, oh, very yeah. exciting. And uh, I did join the group, and we started traveling, and we traveled all around the country. So they were already an established group right. in the jazz world, like live right. performances. Yeah. Exactly. And it was really a show, a jazz show group. Okay. You know, there were only four musicians, but there were six singers. Oh, wow. And so, singers, singers, dancers, I should say, because the dancing that went on, as well as the vocals, was just phenomenal in this show. So were the singers doing a lot of dancing as Absolutely. well? Absolutely, okay. yes. And was it like a was it like a six part harmony, or what, how did you? What kind of we jazz did, vocal was it? We did uh, six part harmonies. We did uh, everybody did solo things, uh -huh. you know, with background vocals. Um, we did certainly upbeat things, and um, primarily th there were two guys that were just f fantastic dancers, and they would do everything from cartwheels and splits and, you know, just tossing each other around, and then uh, all the girls would do their little thing on stage. And so yeah. it was it was really awesome. That's great. Yeah. So that's spelled J-E-R-I-C-H-O, right? Or Correct. It? Okay. And was there also a trio that you started around that time? So Shortly after, um, actually, I stayed with the group in the Florida, you know, Miami, Florida area okay. for about, I would say, eight months. And then the group disbanded, and I thought, well, I want to keep going. Yeah. So I began working with a trio in the Florida area, and we um, we put our own show together, and I was kind of like the front person, which uh -huh. is where, you know, I started learning how to really relate and speak to the audience and, and do shows. Right. Um, so, you know, that was invaluable just so valuable to me as far as um, the performance end of it because it's one thing you know to walk out on stage and sing a song yeah. but to perform a song and get the audience to feel what you want them to feel and be involved in everything you know that's a whole different thing definitely what was the name of the trio do you remember oh god I'm almost embarrassed to say. <laughs> <laughs> well no I am embarrassed to say it but I'm going to tell you anyway okay. it was called the trade win oh cool well that's a nice exotic name oh yeah right <laughs> <laughs> we have a seafood restaurant called that back home in Virginia Beach. So oh, Virginia Beach? Too. Yeah, that's where I'm from. Oh, okay. So, um, yes, the trade wins. We were really something. Yeah. So you, do, 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 was this like a lounge thing? Or? It was a lounge thing. We worked uh, different show lounges and nightclubs around the country. Oh, cool. Um, we worked Vegas. Uh, let's see, what other exciting places did we go to? <laughs> you know, we did that whole Vegas lounge thing, oh, yeah. you know. So you got to do a lot of national touring early on. Oh, yeah, yeah, I cool. did quite a bit of that. 